Hello, Flastu. Domo. It's Heather from Japan Zaheko. Um, I'm back with another video. This is my third time recording it um, because the first time I made a mistake, the second time I got all the way through my video, and then I put it into Windows Movie Maker and the audio disappeared again. So I realized my last video, the audio is really, really quiet. Um, and I figured out why. is because my video recording software was saving it as an FVI file and when I plug that into Windows Media Movie Maker the volume just disappears. So I'm saving it as a different file format and it seems to be working okay so please let me know if the volume is better this time or not. Um, but anyways I wanted to say thank you to everyone who commented on my last video. Um, my reply took a little while to happen. I'm not the greatest. I might be 26 years old and part of the technological, the beginning of the technological generation, but I'm terrible at social media. I don't have Twitter. I barely update my Instagram. Well, I try and do once or twice a week, if I remember. Facebook is just about the only thing I can do, and I'm a lurker, so I'm just browsing everything and liking rather than commenting. So, I know the effort it takes for people to comment, and I so appreciate everyone's comments. So, thank you all for that. But, let's see, so the first thing you probably noticed is I'm wearing my glasses today. Um, I was too lazy to put them in before recording this my contacts in before recording this, so you get my glasses today. The other thing is I'm being very much, like if I put my hand like this, oh, you can see my face, but if I take my hand away, I am a glowing white ball. Um, I don't have a blanket draped today, so I get to be shiny today, yay! But, anyways. Let's see, so this video is going to have my one finished object from Stitch Mania so far, um, the two whips that I'm working on regularly, and then I recorded a video on my phone um, of my stitchy spot. So it goes from the outside of my house, it goes through my kitchen, my living space, and what have you, and then ends up in my stitchy space. So if you want to see what my extremely tiny little house looks like. Um, I will be adding that video closer to the end. Um, so it's kind of based on the what the stitchy spot tag that I know is floating around there. I found a really awesome blog run by Trisha the left-handed stitcher. She basically has every floss tube tag in existence <laughs> listed on her website. So I was browsing that and I found a couple of interesting ones that I might give a shot in the future because now that I've got actual stitching experience and an actual stash and actual whips, I can actually answer some of the questions now. So when I first started FlossTube, I didn't have enough experience to answer anything. So um, I'll add a link to that list of questions or all the tags down there for anyone who might want to do their own tags in their own floss tube videos in the future. And if you browse it and you see something that you want me to do, leave me a comment. I'll do that tag specifically. Or if there's any questions you can think of yourself that you'd like me to answer about living in Japan, stitching in Japan, crafting in Japan, anything in general. I would be happy to answer that. Um, and for my video of my house, I have so many decorations and so many things on my walls and everywhere um, that if there's anything that I just slip by too fast that you would like to see in more detail or uh, what have you that you want me to explain a little bit more, please let me know and I'll, in my next video I'll go further into detail for that. But anyways, let's see, so first thing I wanted to show was my finished object. I finished 
the Lizzie Kate Promise Me that I was working on. Um, and I added a bunch of little extras. So I can show this now because I've shown my mother. Her birthday was on Tuesday last week. So this is my finish. I think I've said before that I don't have access to the original threads, which are Gentle Arts and Weeks Dye Works. Um, so I just kind of picked what was in my stash and went and bought a couple of extras that I needed. Um, but the main thing that I added that are little extras are I went through and backstitched almost everything except for the words and other little details. I backstitched everything in metallic threads. So I don't know if you can how well you can. The webcam's not really picking up the sparkles so much, but the leaves are outlined in green sparkles, the flower is in pink, the blue is in blue. I somehow miraculously had the same shade of blue and green as my stitching in metallic. So the pink is of course different, it comes out a little purple, but the little key I made is also in gold, the moon is in gold, the owl's eyes are in gold. Um, I did blue and gold for the little shamrocks down here. Um, so it was actually quite fun to backstitch a metallic. It gives it a kind of a... It doesn't Since the colors are so similar to the non-metallics, it doesn't super stand out except for the pink, um, but it gives just a little bit of extra shininess to it, and I really like the effect it gives it. Um, so it's not going to be framed until September, when I will be going back to visit my family. Yay! I just bought my ticket yesterday. Um, my boss gave me the time off, as long as I could find someone to cover my lessons, which I of course found in my friend Patty from Kyoto, who I met up. Um, and she also has experience teaching English, and she told me she would be able to cover my lessons. So, thank you so much, Patty! I get to go home and visit my family and buy stitchy stuff at a really cheap price. So, she's going to give me a floss list, and I'm going to play Floss Fairy. Um, and bring back as much stitchy stuff as I possibly can. I also get to visit my cousins and their children, who... The oldest of all of them, I knew when he was two and three, the middle, his younger brother, I held as a baby at my other cousin's wedding. The youngest and my other cousin who was having the wedding has, there's three children now, one was born last week, I have not met any of them, and they probably don't even know I exist, but I get to go see my family who I haven't seen in quite a while, so I'm excited about that. Um, so that was my. So when I go back, I'm gonna finish the Promise Me with my mom. She's gonna help me pick out what style of framing we're gonna do. So I'm excited about. That. Then my two whips that I've been working on. Um, the first one is My Secret Garden. Um, I think in my last video I showed that I had the text and a little tiny bit of the gate done. So in the week since then, I've gotten quite far. I'm just chugging through on this. Like I got, a, uh, there, that's the finger I want to move. Um, I got some of the greens here, I got half the cobblestone wall finished, and all the, f there's a bunch of flowers that are going to be up and around here, and well, I don't like pink. I don't like pink at all. Um, there's a little bit of pink in here, but I think I'm going to go through and change up some of the colors, just because, I don't know, I want to like it. I want to, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, if I'm going to give it to someone, or what am I going to do with it, I have no idea. Probably going to frame it and hang it somewhere, but, yes, so, this is my, what, my train stitching project. So I've got this in my stitchy bag with all my threads prepped in my felt roll and what have you. So The other one that I'm stitching only when I'm at home, because I don't want to bother taking it with me, is my Heaven and Earth design, which is Shadow by Stephanie Law. And yay, it's a giant glowing disc! It's the moon! But 
so it's so bright you can hardly see it. If I hold it like this, you can see I got. So this is the whole width of the first page. I've got what stitched out. I've gone from one side to the other, and I'm just slowly filling it in with the main color, which I don't know what it is. It's some beige. It's basically like 20 bajillion different shades of beige all mixed in together with a little bit of smoke curling through it. And then this open curve will be a, is supposed to be a gold circle, um, but I don't know how well it's going to turn out. I know everyone says just trust the heaven and earth design pattern. It won't let you down. But there's like 40 colors in this one little strip. Everything else over here, the rest of the page, is like a combination of five. 40 colors here, five colors here. So, I don't know how 40 colors are going to end up as gold, but we'll see. But anyways, let's see. So the other thing that I got, I can't really access everything from it. I got a package from my grandmother. So I have to move Kitty, who's sleeping. I'll show you what he looks like. Sorry, Kitty. So, my stitchy spot. Here's Kitty. He's sleeping on my shoebox that has all my threads and stuff in it. Hey, Kitty. Come on. Yeah, okay. He's not there. Let's see. Sorry, Kitty, but I have to move you. I'm sorry. Yes, yes. Okay, I shifted him over. Um, let's see. Ah, you're falling over. Ugh. So, let's see if I can find it. Here's the first bag. Here's the second bag. And, ooh, if I can reach it. A container. So all this floss is a gift from my grandmother. Um, she was going through uh, my aunt, not Edith, not Edith, no, Auntie Vi, that was it. Um, my great aunt um, passed away and she had quite a bit of stitchy stuff that my grandma sent to me. And she's in a really nice retirement home and um, one of her friends overheard her talking about my hobby um, and she said she had all this cross stitching stuff that she doesn't use anymore because her eyesight's going bad and she gave it to my grandma to give to me. So this isn't even all of it according to my grandma. So it's a bunch of Anchor Floss, Anchor brand floss, um, a bunch of floss that has no labels on it. Um, but I got a steal of a deal. I got one of these, the ones with the real thread in it. I got this for $20. Yay, Yahoo Auctions! So this will be a big help, but I can do the unlabeled stuff. I can match and figure out what it is. Then I got a whole box of DMC, and it's like, there are so many colors in here. There's like three different generations of DMC in here, so I need to cross-check the colors to make sure they're still the same, because there's like three different type, three or four different types of labels in here, but thank you, Grandma. That's so awesome. Cannot believe I got this. It's so cool. So when I go back to visit in September, she says she has more stuff for me. So I'm excited for that. The other thing that was included in that were two really old style frames that I've started using. Um, I'm going off on a tangent here. I don't know what I was talking about before I got on this project, but um, so this one, you can see it, it's got a spring attached to it and you just stretch the outer side, except it's really hard to stretch. Um, I guess you can slip it off like that and it pops off and it's lined with cork. I thought was really cool, nice and soft. So this stretches with the spring, but it's really tight. Um, so I think I'm going to use it as a frame for something. I don't know what yet, but it's going to end up being a frame of some sort. Because um, it's just, it's a bit difficult and tight, but I can use it. The other one, this is now my favorite hoop frame ever. 
my favorite. It's got a little knob button-like thing on here that you twist, and it comes loose. It doesn't over twist, but it comes loose and slips off. It also has the cork lining. So you put the fabric in between it, pull it taut, and then twist this, and it tightens. And it's so much nicer than the wooden one. Where is it? I don't know. Like this one, it's got the screw at the top, and it's nice, but the wood, what, it gets loose and I have to retighten it. And this, it, I don't need to retighten using this. It's really awesome. So, anyways, I went off on a tangent for that. Um, but I got a really awesome package from Grandma. I have no idea what I was talking about before I started talking about that package. So, we will just continue on. Um, so the other thing that I wanted to say before I get into the video of my house was my friend Patty, who I continuously mention. I think in my last video um, I added a link to her Etsy shop and she has made another pattern. I don't know if I mentioned it in my last video. I don't think I did. Um, but she's made another pattern and it's so adorable. I thought I'd share it with you. So, you can see all my tabs open, but ignore those for now. So this is her pattern that she designed herself and then she stitched a sample and then she put it in her shop. So she always stitches her sample just to make sure that it looks nice um, before she uploads it to her shop. But if you can believe it, this is priced. Let's see if I can do this. This is priced. Da -da -da -da. Six dollars! That's crazy. I totally think she should be having a higher price, but... So, her Etsy shop is called Evermore Embroidery. I'll add a link in my description down there. Um, but look at this. Look at how delicate, beautiful, and life... It, to me, it just feels super 3D. Like, it's really, really gorgeous. So, she said next time that we meet up, she's going to be giving me a copy. So... I am so excited to be stitching this. This is just gorgeous. So I'm really excited for that. And I love that May is little bluebells. I love bluebells. So, but, yes. Anyways, I think that's everything for now. Uh, I don't want to make this too long. I've already hit 17 minutes. I'm trying to record it all in one go and then add on the other video at the end. So I will say thank you for watching. Um, I will have my video of my house. Please enjoy as I I apologize ahead of time for the shakiness of it, but um, yeah, if you have any questions about my house or you want to see something else up close, please let me know and I will be more than willing to share that with you. So, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. And roll! Da -da -da -da. Alright, so I thought I'd share with you guys a little glimpse of what my house looks like. So this is my house. It's got a garage. This is the front entrance. Sorry for my hose sticking out. This doesn't actually have my address on it. We don't have building numbers on our houses, but... So, mailbox comes like that. Comes through on that side. Goes through there. This is my bike. It cost me about $800 because it is electric. Um, it was, uh, I paid for half of it. The other half was a birthday present from my mom, but it goes really, really fast. It's really, really nice. And it's really nice for climbing up hills because I don't have to stand up or pump my legs or anything like that. So it's got a little light, my door. This is the lock. It's the most painful lock you can possibly imagine to unlock. You have to push it all the way in and twist it and it gets stuck all the time. But front door slides open. Oh, sorry for the messy shoes. This is what my entrance area looks like. Um, shoes down there. This has more shoes and helmets. My husband rides motorcycles. Um, so that's how he gets around. We don't have a car, but just one motorcycle and my bicycle. That's how you get around in Japan, bicycles. Um, and those are some of his beetles that he's raising. He bought a bunch of 
male, female, and bred them. And so now he's got a bunch of worms. So this room goes up to a spare bedroom, is where my mum stays when she comes to visit. Um, right now it's just got an extra freezer in it and a bunch of beetles. So, and then right next to the entrance, can't really zoom out very well. I go up the stairs, this is what it looks like from up the stairs. So that's the entrance. And that's the bathroom door, is right there. It's where the toilet is, that's it. Not the actual bath or anything like that. But then there's a door separating the entrance from the rest of the house. And I open it. Um, yes, there's stuff everywhere. I like to decorate. So this is my, this is my house clean. I'll let you that know that right now. Um, Oh, I should probably close that door. Um, so this is my kitchen. It's very overflowing with things. The sink has some dirty dishes in it, but everything else is clean. Um, so our garbage hangs right there. And what? As you can see, that where the cutting board is, that's my only preparation space. Like I've got a stove. Let's see if I can fix the lighting. Stove cutting board and a sink. That's all I've got. That's what most kitchens look like in Japan and it's really crappy. Um, anyways, there's cat bowl and food. So I recently, well not recently, I guess about a year ago, um, I bought a kitchen table. Um, I got this set, four chairs and the table for $60. It was really nice. That's one of the few good things that I found at a thrift shop in Japan. Um, but anyways, let's see, so going backwards, this is that door that we just came through. Um, my husband and my bag are hanging there, our jackets and stuff are hanging there, and more beetles, if you'd like to see. I don't know if we can see any of them. No, they're all hiding. Okay, never mind. Um, let's see, where else? So the stairs are right smack dab in the middle, so this is my tiny little kitchen and dining room space that we don't actually use. That table is normally covered in bags and clothes and books and things and bills and I cleaned it off though because it's Saturday. So stairs in the smack dab middle of this living space. These go upstairs Let's see. to there's a bedroom on that side but it is our junk storage clothing closet rooms. So there's no, there are no closets in this house, so that room has everything stored in it. And the one with the green walls, that's the bedroom where hubby is still sleeping, despite it being almost 11 in the morning. So, but the stairs are hollow, they go through. Um, I go around, so there is my giant fridge. It's got my calendar and pictures and Let's see, my tea collection, along with an easy cheese squeeze bottle that I brought from the States. Um, let's see, there's my microwave slash convection oven, um, my toaster oven, and my rice cooker. And that cupboard has all my dry foods and plates and cups and everything in it. Um, so if we go this way, this is where we keep our clothes for whatever season it currently is. So all our winter clothes are now upstairs, um, and our summer clothes, we just moved down last week. Um, so we get changed right here, we do everything down here basically, this living space. Um, so this is the living space, you can see Kitty hanging out over here. He's just laying on the Xbox. This is one of his favorite sleeping spaces on top of the Xbox. His hand always reacts. Normally he's sitting the other way with his head towards the computer. And so his hand drapes over the, or his paw drapes over the edge. And he keeps turning it on and off and on and off and on and off. So this is my husband's computer and computer space in his chair. Um, this is our table, which is also called a kotatsu. Um, so in the winter, let's see if I can show you, in the winter, this, this slides, and we have a blanket between these two spaces. And let's see, let me fix it. 
Um, if you can see underneath it, there is a heater. So when we put the blanket between the tabletop and the legs and turn the heater on, all the heat gets trapped under there. And that is how we heat our house because there's no insulation in the walls. So that's, we live under this table and under the blanket. But so that's my chair over there. That's my, this is also my stitchy space. But first I'll show you, this is my, this is the walls that you always see in, let's see, always see in my videos. Um, and this is my collection of things. Lots of book. Humans in New York, yay! Um, I do have the Aragon book. You can probably see it's shining, but I haven't actually read it. Um, and just tons of little things that I've got. Um, my fish tank that needs to be cleaned. It's got a bunch of mold or moss growing on it, but this is zombie. Yeah, it's really dirty. Sorry, but this yes, this is zombie because. I had four goldfish, and the other three somehow just disappeared. They never jumped out of the tank, because we, ne we found no bodies even after we moved. And so we, and one of the fish we found half eaten, so we're assuming that he ate them. But this, my Asian shelf, you always see this in the background. Um, lots of things on my wall. If you want to see this, <laughs> this is me and my husband. Um, this is not actual wedding photos, if that's what you think it is. We went to Kyoto, and in Kyoto you can do a dress-up experience where they spend two hours putting the makeup and the hair and all the stuff and the kimono and everything on you. It takes two hours. The guys, it takes like 30 minutes get everything because they don't have the makeup but um, my mom and my brother came with us and so all four of us originally my husband wasn't going to join us but I forced him to and so my mom got a chance to take wedding like photos of us so that was kind of fun um, this is my backyard is completely overgrown right now because bees that should explain everything. Bees. I cannot like the slider doors open, but the 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 the, the ah I can remember the Japanese word, but I cannot remember the English. Amido in Japanese. The this thing, <laughs> the netting thing, um, is like I can open the slider, and I'm fine standing right here. But yeah, if I open this, my heart starts beating rapidly and I start panicking um, like this is as far out as I can go like my hand is sticking out and that's it but so this is my backyard it's very messy this is all leftovers from my gardening feats from last year I grew a bunch of vegetables that were a success because I only went outside at night to water them but so this is my stitchy spot this is my chair and this is my main stitching Things. I'll use my foot. This is my what sewing box that my mom got me when I first moved over here. Um, I have my stitchy bags. It's here. Um, the containers that I got for floss. I've got three of them all stacked up right there. Um, oh, kitty came out. Oh, is someone there? Is someone there? Hmm? No. He's waiting for his friends to come visit. That's why we have a bowl of cat food out here. We have a bunch of neighborhood cats, strays that come to visit. But anyways, back in this corner, we've also got cat food in the corner just because it's easier to hang out there. Um, I've got my container that just has a bunch of random clips. And I don't know why that's in there, but that's in there. <laughs> bunch of little random odds and ends. This thing has all my fabric and the pipe frame that I made for myself and one really big frame that I actually used to use for silk screening um, so I'm hesitant to use it for cross stitch but it's down here anyways so I've got all my fabric hanging out in there 
Um, up here is all my Stitch Mania whips. This used to have a bunch of decorations in it. One of them is still left over a little doll, but I'm slowly finding new places for everything. Um, and this assort, random assortment of crafty junk, some coloring books, pens, notepads, and then my folders filled with magazines, patterns, and what have you are all hanging out in there. So and these ones you don't really see very often is a bunch of little vases and wood carvings. Um, all my Buddhas I have hanging out here. Um, and some more. Got a Japanese calligraphy set and a little um, airplane spinny thing that my mom got me when I was a child when she went to Paris for work. Um, and then another Buddha-like thing. Just a bunch of little odds and ends that I've bought or I've gotten as gifts or... Ah, a bee just flew right by! Oh my god. The slider's closed, but it still freaked me out. But anyways, yeah, so this is my stitchy spot. It's not just my stitchy spot, it is my, let's see, sorry for the shaking. Let's see, so yes, this is my stitchy spot. Got easy access to everything behind me. My chair is here. This is not only just my stitchy spot, it is my TV spot. It's my computer spot, computer. Um, it is my eating spot, it is my working spot, it is my reading spot. Basically, I come home, I sit in this chair, and I don't move until I have to go to bed. So it's basically my everything spot except for sleeping and cooking, which of course is done in the kitchen. But except for in the, from the end of July to the beginning of September, it's so hot that we cannot sleep upstairs. So... We bring our futon from upstairs down to this floor. So this chair goes upstairs and this area basically is turned into a giant bed. And so then basically I live in this spot. I don't move from it um, at all. Oh, and Kitty is sleeping on my sewing box but is about to fall out. If he stretches any further, he's just going to slide right off. But... Yes, that's also his favorite sleeping spot, is to sleep on top of my boxes. So. Hi, Koma. You wanna say hello? Hey. No, I don't wanna say hello, I wanna sleep. All right, so that is it for the mini tour of my house. Um, I'm not gonna take you upstairs because those rooms are an absolute mess and I'm not willing to show them. But, yes, that is my stitchy spot. Thank you.